message, not, not only Jewish, but also Muslim The The uh, ancient uh, uh, Syrian Greeks, they wanted uh, to forbid the Jews of observing their own religion, to have their own Sabbath, the circumcision, uh, holidays. They said, no, you people don't do that. You are under domination. You are not free. We declare what you do and what you don't do. And so, um, they, they started by, by, um, by seducing a lot of Jews into the Greek way of thinking, such as the body is perfect, therefore circumcision. Oh, oh, how can you tamper with the body? And uh, the beauty of the body is more important than the, the spirit. Um, and um, seven days, one day a week, you, 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 you lazy Jews, you, you rest, you don't do work. What is this? Right? We Greeks are very laborious. Therefore, you also have to work on Shabbat. Uh, and so they impose all these things. And many Jews fell into that. And they became Hellenized. And some wanted to participate in the, in the games, like, like, like the Olympics, right? And at that time, how did they dress at that time for the games? Naked. 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 So the non-Jews, the, the Greeks, made fun of the Jews. Oh, you in the games? Look at this, this guy. <laughs> he tampered with his body, right? So they were embarrassed, these Jews. They wanted to be Hellenized. They went through suffering in pulling the skin to hide, you know? That, that, it didn't work, of course, but they tried it. Anyway, uh, it was sort of almost a civil war between the Hellenized Jews and the Jews who wanted to keep the tradition. And one day, according to the book of Maccabees, this guy, a uh, Greek general, says to this Jew, you come here in front of everybody in that village, in village Mujin, is that you uh, sacrifice and worship idols. The Jews came do, and then Maccabin rose up and said, no way, we are Jews, we don't do that, and do his sword and kill the Greek general. Wow, you kill a Greek general, you know what happens, right? The whole Greek army is going to come. Immediately they went and they run, and they went to caves, they hide here and there, and they made guerrilla war, they killed a few soldiers here and there, until they gathered a lot of people. And they fought. And of course, everybody knows about the story about Judah Maccabee, who was the leader of the, of the revolt. And he, uh, the Greeks brought the, the elephants from India to fight the Jews. So that was, at that time, the tanks, right? You see an elephant, Gershi. So he took his sword into the belly of the elephant. The elephant crushed him. Hmm. Anyway, the, continued, the, re the rebellion continued until they got to the temple, they cleared up the whole place, and said, now, instead of pigs being offered all this time to Zeus, now we're going to clean the place and we can worship God. And then they went there, looked at the place, and there is a menorah that's supposed to be lit every day, and it's lit with olive oil. And so they look everywhere, they couldn't find any oil, Every, all the oil has been used for the, for, the, for the pigs and for them. So they found a small vial sealed with the seal of the high priest, has not been touched. Great, pure oil, use it, it's supposed to last one day, it lasted eight days. Nice story, mm -hmm. but we don't celebrate that part because that's for the children. For us is, that God really helped us, tiny group of Jews fighting the mighty Greeks. And that what is, we're able to restore our independence. For 200 years, we had our independence. With the Maccabee, okay, Hashunayim. That's the story. Now, you say to the whole world, it's the religion, uh, the, the holiday of religious tolerance because we want to worship God the way we want it, right? And nobody can prevent us. They want to worship their the religion the way they want it, that's their problem. Ours, ours, yes. Question, what's the difference between three terms? 
Anukia, yeah. Candelabra, yeah. and Menorah. Okay. The Menorah in the, in, the, in the Temple of Jerusalem was made of seven branches. Seven branches. We have here eight because Hanukkah is eight days. So that's not called the Menorah. Menorah is only the one on the, in, the, in the Temple, right? Candelabra is, is a Latin word from, for candle, candle, right? Candle to burn. So uh, it's just whatever. Then uh, Hanukkah. Sefarim call this Hanukkah. Uh, Ashkenazim call it Hanukkah. It's the same thing. Same thing, just different words. No difference. Right? One religion, one people, one uh, all the same. A few custom here and there, different. You know, no big deal. Now, if you think about the uh, thing, uh, <coughs> um, a question that you should linger in your mind. Yeah? Because I don't have an answer for you, and you don't have an answer for me, but you don't know. If the miracle, right, was that the oil was supposed to last one day, but it lasted eight days. So the miracle is not the first day, because that's what you expect. The miracle is the seven more days after that. Yes. So we should write only seven, not eight. <laughs> <laughs> Let it linger in your mind, and it's okay. I'll give you an answer later on. All right. Um, now, uh, we are to write. In Judaism, we always start with the right. If you have a choice between right and left, right. That's why we put the candle right here. First one, right? This is just a shamash, means a servant. It's just in case we, have, we need some light. We, since we are not allowed to use this one, the mitzvah one, we can use that. I, I need to read my book. I sh I, I'm not allowed to do that because I'm using the light of this. So I'm going to use the light of this. Okay? Difference between candles and or olive oil is that the candle, you can use the candle you're going to put here, you can use it like here. Oil, you cannot use it. How can you remove this one too, like this? You understand? So you do that. But you must light first and foremost the one for the mitzvah. Then the auxiliary one. Oh. Yes. Then auxiliary one, right? Even if you use this one for, uh, even if you say, "Tom, you use candles," you should light. You, you light. You light the candles, right? You light first this one. Then I would suggest you get a third candle, right? That you're gonna use first kind of this one and that one. So don't use it. don't oh. use the one that you're gonna put over there. And like to light this one. Oh, you don't do that. I would prefer not, because what happens? There is a principle that you do a bracha. When you say bracha, you do the action right away, right? What is our obligation? This one, right? Mm -hmm. Say the bracha for this one. Say bracha, and then you do the action right away. You cannot interrupt it by doing another another action. Oh. That's an auxiliary. That's so not the why minimum. would you light that at all then? Because eventually, let's, let's say there is no light here, no electricity, yeah. and I want to read a book, I'm not allowed to make use of that light. I so I'm using that light. Okay. Was this made by Revere? This For Revere? Yeah. No, um, didn't yeah. Revere make uh, the... Meyer Myers. Uh, Myers. Myers. No, that's, that's a much, more, much, much more modern. The turn of the century. Oh, beautiful. The last century. All right, thank you very much. Any questions so far? So if non-Jews ask you, what is the holiday of Hanukkah that you do? You do what's your answer? Tolerance. Excellent, of religious tolerance. That's what I celebrate for everybody should, should know that. So again, yeah. if you have four candles, right. you light all four candles, right. then. Exactly right. Okay. Exactly right. Because this is, you can do it without it. It has nothing to do with the religion. Oh. Nothing whatsoever. Okay. This is what has to do. You were standing in my way. That's why I suggest get another candle, a third candle, right? another candle, that you light with the matches. And then you say your blessings, you light all four, and then the one that is there. Oh. Make sense? Yep. Mm -hmm. okay. And you're obligated to light it at sundown? Yes. So we're okay. late. Uh, well, as long as uh, there are, it's dark, so that people can do the light. The sooner the better. Mm -hmm.
But if not, then, then we proceed, okay. Now, it's first night. Anything that we start new the year, we say Shekhiyanu, right? Mm -hmm. So we're going to have three blessings. Two that you do every day, but one extra on the first night only. Now, I'm an expert in knowing how to light this, because it's very difficult. <laughs> so I pinch it to take out the oil, and then I light it, right? But I wait a long time to wait it, to light it, right? And then you, you see what uh, I'll do. And, 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 and who wants to write the, the, the other one? Should uh, I volunteer. I'll do it. You do it, okay? All right. But you have to keep the, the flame underneath long enough to catch it, because it's not, it's not easy to catch, okay? okay. All right, ready? <coughs> Together. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Kiddishanu Mibizotav Vitzivanu Leadlik Ner Shel Hanukkah Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Shasa Nisim Laavotenu Bayamim Hahem Ubazeman Hazeh Baruch Ata Adonai אלוהינו מלך העולם, שהחיינו וקיימנו והגיענו לזמן הזה. Stay, 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 stay on the stone, go with the flame. My cat? And make sure this catches a lot, a lot, a lot. All right. Yeah, I guess it's good. I think so. Yeah, away from it. The wind doesn't go there. Right. Did you make a wish? No. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a piece of cloth? Cotton. It's like linen or cotton. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Rabbi, what's the material? Material. Material. It's cotton. Cotton. Yeah. Because cotton absorbs the oil and brings it brings it for us. Okay. We're gonna read this together. Why is the list filled with oil on the other side? Oh, that's, that's when I was this. Uh, uh, ah. So, so what we read on Friday night, that thing with the candles. Yes. Uh, no, yes. Yeah, but, yeah, but uh, uh, it's for Shabbat. That's for the candle of Shabbat. I got it. Okay. That's for, uh, and then do you start from left to right? From left, yes. Always from, no, from right. Right to left. Okay, but then when you light the second candle. Ah. Again, you put it here. Yeah, and which one do you light first? The one on, on, oh, okay. on, on next to you are right. Mm -hmm. This means that. In order. You, you, yeah. you, that's right. You light the second night before the first night? You like on this? the second night? No. Like you read. Okay, like you uh, like left to right. Here, I'll show you the, with, practically speaking. Let's say it's the fourth night, okay? Mm -hmm. yeah. you, place, you place the candles one, two, three, four. The fourth one you start. Three, two, one. Right, that's, oh, what, that's what I said. Yeah. Now listen, if the shamus goes out, and then the shamus, you relight it? No. In, in you, don't worry, yeah. you don't worry about the shamus. Like no, you have the third candle and you light it. Right. With the third candle. Yeah, but you can also light it directly. Directly, no problem. Well, you can light it directly. Okay. Yeah, whatever you want to do, that's uh, 100%. Okay. So what are we doing now, Rabbi? Now we're going to read this very important passage. So we can remember, okay? I read it very briefly in Hebrew, and then we read in English, okay? And what are you doing? Okay, I'm going to read the Torah. 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 Okay,
which you did perform, we, you God, did perform for our ancestors through your holy priests at this season in ancient days. Wherefore, these lights are sacred all the eight days of Hanukkah, and you're not permitted to make profane use of them, but only to look at them so as to give thanks to you, O God, for your miraculous saving providences. Okay? It's clear? Mizmar Shir Hanukkah Tabayit David, Psalm 30. Now, Psalm uh, 30 is because of the dedication of the, of the house. Okay, now, Mausur. Everybody knows Mausur's melody? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Who composed the melody? Okay. It is a typical, excuse me, huh? typical. German beer song. Really? Yeah. Told us that right? So, see the Ashkenazim took a, 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 a melody from the non Jews, right? A, a beer song. Sephardim in Amsterdam said, Why are our brothers, the Ashkenazim, have a melody for, for that? But you cannot use a German melody, we're going to go to the Italians. And they went to non-Jews Italian, and they got their own melodies. <laughs> so both Sephardim and Ashkenazim went to the non-Jews to get the melodies. <laughs> All right, the one that we know, everybody, is like a... The Sephardi Italian one is. Oh, I, I thought that, I thought you were saying because that sounded German to me. Yes, that's that's the one. Oh, that was yeah, German. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> There's the Italian one is going to Mahotur Yeshua ti lechana e lechabeya ti kohan bete filati vesham toda ezabeya le taklit mabeya nim tsar hanabeya azegmor beshir mizmor hanukat hamizbeya that's nice. His name is ben, uh, Marcello Be Benedito. That's Marcello who? Benedito. 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 I've heard of that name. Yeah? I, I've heard of the name. I've never heard any of the species until right now. Very good. Happy Hanukkah, everybody. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah. Hanukkah. God bless. We have also, again, nobody's going to persecute us and we'll be free. Yes, that will be good, sir.